executives that I work with who are cultivating this, I call it the inner game, but are cultivating a quality of presence and listening and tracking their own conditioned minds. Those leaders, they are paving with cultures of fear because they're not worried that if they can't figure it out, they're not going to get there. The one time I was sitting with an executive and we were on a two day retreat together and we were doing some visioning work and we had, you know, things all over the walls and we were really in our heads and I felt it. And I, I said, we have to stop for a second and we have to drop in in a different way because the reason that we're, we're struggling is because we're not getting out of our conception of reality and accessing more information from somewhere that is like unknown. So we did that and I asked him to close his eyes and, and to your point, I think what revealed itself next shocked him. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But what was so beautiful about it is that he was in enough of a surrendered place, kind of in his own feminine energy of just surrendering and patient and listening. His eyes were closed. We were just going on a journey on you know, the vision for the business. But then all of a sudden he started seeing, and this is someone who doesn't do this kind of practice. So at first he was like, what's going on? But he literally started seeing through the eyes of an eagle. And it was as if he was the eagle. And so we were just tapping into like, what is this aspect of intelligence that's trying to give you information right now? What is it saying? 